Hello everyone, welcome again to my YouTube channel. This is Mom Cat, your Superman. Kung hindi ka pa nakasubscribe sa channel ko, please subscribe now and do not forget to hit the notification bell para lagi kang updated sa bagong video ko. So here, I will be discussing Math 5, second quarter, week 4. And that is estimation of the products of decimal numbers with reasonable result. Now, let's proceed to the next slide. Here, I will be discussing the example on your module and that is all about the exchange rate. So here, let's study the exchange rates between Philippine Peso or Philippine Peso against some currency. So we have here the table that shows the different currency of different countries. We have your dollars, yen for Japan, Hong Kong dollar, Singapore dollar, dinar, real dollar, and we have here baht for Thailand currency. Now, it shows here that if one, $1 is equal to 48 pesos and 4,540, 4, 10,000. And we have in one yen, ito yung equivalent niya, 0 0.4626, wala pa siyang 50 centavos. At ang Hong Kong dollars, ang katumbas niya is 6 point two thousand five hundred twenty two ten thousands at eto naman yung sa iba pang currency so today we are going to apply the estimated uh, or the estimation or estimated product when it comes to exchange rate example we are going to find out the estimated peso equivalent of seventy six dollars so, pag sinabi natin estimated, we use rounding off. Oh, we rounded the numbers. The same way the word about. Kapag meron sa word problem na about or appro approximately, approximately, yan, ang ibig sabihin ng mga yan ay rounded or parang hindi mo kinukuha yung exact value. You are approximating the value. Yan yung pinakamadaling paraan para makuha mo yung value ng isang number. So here, let's have the, prob uh, the example here. Let's find out what is the peso equivalent of $76 or what is the estimated peso equivalent. So this is the dollar, United States dollar, and... That is equivalent to 48 pesos, 0.45, 40 centavos. Or, ito yung katumbas ng isang dolyar. E kailangan natin 76 dollars. And we are only looking for the estimated peso equivalent. So here, as you can see, balik natin. As you can see here, As you can see here, we are multiplying a mixed decimal and a whole number. And if we are to multiply or if we are to get the estimated product of this number, whole number should be rounded off to the highest place value and that is 7. Paano nga tayo mag round if the digit of the digit to be preceding digit of the digit to be rounded are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and that is round down. Re retain the number to be rounded. Kung ang katabi naman niya ay 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, that is round up. Ibig sabihin, mag-a-add ka ng 1 sa digit na ira-round mo. So, again, if we are going to multiply or if we are going to get the estimated product of these numbers, whole numbers should be rounded to the highest place value. And mixed decimals should be rounded to the nearest whole number. And that is 8. So here, ang katabi ng 8 ay 4. 
for ang katabi so round down. Kapag round down, hindi mababago ang digit na iraround mo. And that is equivalent to 48. At ito namang isa, 6 ang katabi ng 7. So that is 6. So we need to round up plus 1 to the digit to be rounded. So yung 76 will become 80. Yung 7 nag plus 1 and then 6 will become 0. So now, let us multiply this. So we have 0 times 8 is 0. 0 times 4. Or pwede na tayong shortcut. 8 times 8 is 64. Remainder 6. 8 times 4 is 32. Plus 6 is 38. Therefore, approximately or the estimated, burahin ko na to. Therefore, the estimated peso equivalent of $76 is 3,000 pesos, 3,800 pesos. So this is the answer. Now, let's have another example. What if we are to get what if we are to get um value of 54 yen in peso, the estimated value of 54 yen in peso. Again, what if we are to get the estimated value of 54 yen in peso? Now, hanapin natin si yen. Yen is here. Ang isang yen daw ay ito equivalent sa peso. Now, we are going to multiply. Let's erase this. What if we are going to find 54 yen or the estimated peso equivalent of 54 yen and yen is here. So we are going to multiply times 54. So here, as you can see, we also have here a whole number and decimal number. Hindi naman siya mixed decimal. So unahin natin yung whole number. Ang 5, i-round natin. Ang katabi niya ay 4. So it should be round down magiging 50. And here, wala naman, hindi naman pwedeng maging 0 siya, ba? So, if we have decimal, i-round natin siya to the nearest decimal. So, that is 4. Ang katabi niya ay 6. Kapag daw ang katabi ng number ay 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, we should round up. Yung 4 magiging 5. So, the answer is 0 0.5 times 50. Ayusin natin ang ating solution. We have 0 0.5 or pwedeng gawin 0 0.500 pares lang yon times zero times 50. So ayan na ang ating solution. We have here 0 and then 5 times 5 is 25. One decimal point and that is equivalent to 54 yen is approximately equal to 25 pesos. So, ayun po ang equivalent niya. So, mababa lang kasi wala pang si kwenta, di ba? Wala pang 50 cents ang 1 yen. Almost 1 half lang yung equivalent niya. So, sorry na hindi ko nalagay yung value. Let's try that again. 54 yen is approximately equal to or 54 yen is approximately equal to 25 pesos let's have another example
let's have a out the estimated peso equivalent of gamit tayo ng Hong Kong dollar. 28 Hong Kong dollars. Alright. Now, we are to get the estimated peso equivalent of this and that is 1 Hong Kong dollar is equivalent to 6 pesos point 25 almost or 6 Point two or six and two thousand five hundred twenty two ten thousands ang equivalent niya into peso. So we multiply it. So in peso ay ito yung equivalent niya, and we multiply it to twenty eight dollars, and we are to get the estimated product. So dahil ito ay whole number, iraround natin siya sa highest place value. Ang katabi niya ay eight. So, pag 8, round up, magiging 30. At ito naman, 6, ang katabi ay 2, magiging ano na lang siya? Magiging 6 na lang siya. Round down times 6, or this will become 6. Or pwede natin isulat siya na 30 times 6. So, we have 0, 18. Therefore, 28 Hong Kong dollar is approximately equal to 180 pesos. So this is the answer for this example. All right. Let's go to the next slide. All right. Now here in your learning task number one is to find the S. Estimate the peso equivalent of the following items. Write your answer in your notebook. So, katulad lang nung ginawa ko kanina, dahil ito ay mga whole number, i-round nyo siya to the highest place of value, which is 1. O, isa lang naman yung given dito. And this currency will be rounded to the nearest peso. Maliban na lang sa... Yen. Kasi ang yen, wala naman siyang peso dito. Eh, di ba? Wala siyang whole number. Kaya siya i-round mo sa 4. So, this is learning test number 1. And, let's uh, have another example. Estimate the product of this number. So, we have here, 44 is a whole number and 12 and 16 hundreds is a mixed decimal. First is to round off the whole number to the highest place value, and that is 4. This will become 40 times 12. Iraround mo sa 2. Ang katabi niya ay 1. So this is round down. So this is 40 times 12. Let us solve. 40 times 12. That is 0, 8. 40, 0, 8. Four, and that is approximately equivalent to 480. This is the answer. Let's have another example. If we have both uh, if we have both mixed decimal, if we have 16 and 35 hundreds times 24 and 63 hundreds. So they are both mixed decimal. So we need to round this into 16 and that is equal to, this will become 16 times 4 should be rounded, ang katabi niya ay 6, so round up equals 25. So we have 16 times 25, we have 13. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 3 is 8. 6 times 2 is 12. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. 0, 10. So approximately equal to 400. Let's have another example. Example, we have 15 and 
three hundreds times ninety nine and eight eighty five hundreds. So here they are both mixed decimal. So ira round natin sila sa five or sa nearest uh, whole number. Five ang katabi niya ay zero. This will become fifteen round down. At ang 9, ang katabi niya ay 8. So, 9 plus 1, this will become 100. Or 99 plus 1 will become 100. So, when we multiply it, we have 15 plus 2, 0. This is approximately equals to 1,500. Alright. I think it's the last example that I will go into discussed today. And if you have any questions about rounding of decimal numbers, meron po akong video na ilalagay ko sa description box ang link. So that's it for today. Thank you for, for watching my video.